Greetings from the past, fellow time travelers. I am the Sporkinator, and welcome back to Mega Man X. Now that I've refilled that fourth sub tank that I used against Boss Spider, we're ready to take on the next stage of Sigma's Fortress. The second one. The next stage, the second one. Jeez, man. By the way, the music here is actually pretty good. Just listen to it. I think a lot of people like this particular track in the game. Like, my favorite is still the Spark Mandrill theme, but I gotta hand it to this one. This one's pretty funky, too. Also, these platforms are very tricky, so you gotta be very calculating when you jump. You don't just want to jump for no reason. You have to know where you're gonna land. You have to know which way the platform is going. I have fallen there before, okay? I know what I'm talking about. Oh, man. I probably could have filled my sub tank here, but there's no reason to chance it. So I filled it in the arm arm armored armadillo stage by killing these jerks over and over, oddly enough. Now, if I could just dash jump my way up, I'd be so happy. Good grief, just go through the door. Don't even take damage, just go through the door. I think we're fighting Chill Penguin now. Yep. His weakness is fire, though the way I played the stage is I didn't have fire the last time I fought him. So we'll actually, we'll actually be able to use this uh, on him for the first time now, which is kind of nice. Oh, jeez. Alright, Chill Penguin, do the thing. Oh, it burns! <laughs> it actually looks really painful when he gets hit by it, not gonna lie. Oh, it burns! Someone make it stop! Oh, it burns! I'm also playing smarter this time, where I actually dash out of the way when he jumps. Jeez, I don't know why I just couldn't do that before. I actually had to die once on this guy. Like, like are you serious? I actually died on this guy before? Unbelievable, right? Oh, it burns! Make it stop! That's probably what he's thinking right now. He's just like, where'd you get that fire? It burns so badly. Ah! He did it again! I must stop him! Ah! He burnt me again! Someone make it stop! Do it now! Ah! I love this guy, though. It's kind of funny to watch him burn, but sad at the same time. He looks, looks like he's in so much pain. I know he's a robot, but still. I'm pretty sure these robots can all feel pain. I mean, I could be wrong, but... Based on their behaviors, they feel pain, man. They're that realistic. Alright, now that we've defeated super easy chill penguin with fire. Ooh! I want this guy's armor, I think. Oh, hello. You can perish. You can perish too, man! Get out of here! Rock'em Sock'em robots are back! That's what these actually look like. They kind of look like Rock'em Sock'em robots. Ooh! Boom! I think if you dash and punch, it's actually more potent. I could be wrong, though, but that is what it seems to be in my experience. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe he just has a random amount of health or takes a random amount of hits. I have no idea, man. Oh, my armor's broken. Escape! Get out! Get up the ladder before anything else happens! See ya, sucker! Oh, okay, so for this part, there's two ways to go. There's the left side and there's the right side. I think I actually prefer to go to the right side for this part. I think it's easier. I could be wrong. But yeah, I think this is definitely easier. I'm not making this up, man. There's no ladders on the other side. That's all I know. Well, there is a ladder there, but that's like the last part, huh? Well, I'm only missing a little bit of health. I'm good. I don't have to grind for health or anything. Now here, I think we're actually gonna be fighting Storm Eagle again. So this is gonna be fun. I'm not even gonna use Sting Chameleon on him, I'm just gonna blast him with my X-Buster like I did before. Cause he never learns his lesson, he just keeps coming back. Well, I don't need any of that, jeez man. I'm almost tempted to use the tornado thing on him just, just to be ironic or whatever. Just be like, I'm killing you with your own attack, ha ha ha! But I don't know if that's actually very smart. It would be amazing if he was actually invulnerable to his own power. That would actually make a lot of sense. But I actually don't think that's the case. I think you can actually damage the Mavericks with their own weapons. I just never bother. Because, like, what's the point when I already know what their weakness is and I decide to use it or not? Oh, man, I fired the wrong way. Yes, fly up and... No, don't do that thing. I don't actually like it when he does the egg attack. I prefer the wind attacks. And the uh, swoop down on me like a moron attack. And whatever this is, is okay, too. Oh, he's doing the swoop down like a moron attack. We got a counter. Whoosh! 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 Ha! Got him! <laughs> he never learns his lesson. He just never learns. He never learns at all. 
<laughs> He's always back for more. Whee! Oh, jeez. Oh, we look, free health. I'm okay with that. Should I sting Chameleon here, or can I just kill this guy? I can probably kill this guy. He ain't no big deal. Ha, got him, all right. Actually, maybe I do want Sting Chameleon's power here. I'm not sure. You know what? You're pissing me off. It's time to do the thing. I think this ends up being a little bit of a waste, because there's not that many enemies to bypass here. Yeah, see, that's, that's all there was to it. There wasn't even enough to make that worth it, to be quite honest. And you can switch weapons without going to the subscreen. I just prefer the subscreen, because I can never remember what order they're in when I scroll through them with the L and R buttons. Oh my gosh, it's Rangda Bangda. This boss is called Rangda Bangda, and his weakness is actually Sting Chameleon, so it's good that I didn't use too much of that. I only used it fully charged once. We gotta destroy the eyes, and then the nose. And the walls will close in. If you don't jump up, you'll probably fall down into that pit of spikes and die instantly. That's what'll happen. It's a bit of a pain, man. And I probably should have attacked the nose, but I, want, I really want to kill the eyes first. Otherwise, this ends up being more difficult, because you have to fight the eyes in an enclosed space if you kill the nose first. Oh, jeez. I should do some damage to the nose, though, because we do have to kill it eventually. All right, I got one hit on it. I guess that's good enough. Oh, red eye. Red eye. Ooh, red eye. I... Wait, what? I guess the eye just reappears as a random color, because I already killed a red one. Okay, both eyes are dead, I guess. It's just the nose now. The nose is the only thing we have left. Oh man, I'm gonna die here if I'm not careful. Ooh, least, as long as I hit him, I'm okay with this. We can just slide down. Oh man. Oh man, come on. I don't remember it being this hard. We should be. We should. This should be a done deal by now. Well, there we go. I wasn't even paying attention to the boss health meter. I was just too busy trying to stay on the wall and shoot. So in conclusion, I guess Rangda Bangda is not that hard. Assuming you have all the upgrades, because you'll notice how much health I lost. I lost quite a bit of health on that fight. But I survived it without even needing a sub-tank, so that's good, I guess. And that is Sigma Stage 2 completed, so next time on Mega Man X, we take on the third Sigma Stage. I'm Sporkinator, thank you for watching, and may we fight again in the future. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and press the bell icon to enable notifications so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Whether they be segments from live streams or proper Let's Plays like this one. Anyway, I'm rambling. Goodbye for now. Whoosh!